are so much more than an energy company. We are connectors, community protectors, and clean energy leaders. We are job creators, friends and neighbors, stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy behind your everyday. And we are obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year. And remember, today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. Good evening and welcome to the Girls State Basketball Tournament from Wells Fargo Arena in Des Moines. And the Girls Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. Dart Anielson here with Blake Walker as we get ready for this uh, final 4A quarterfinal on the Girls Union Network powered by Mid-American Energy Company. Number three, Sioux City Bishop Heelan and number six, Waverly Shellrock meeting up here tonight with uh, three spots filled in the 4A semifinals and uh, one to go, Blake. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun night of basketball ahead. Last 4A to claim. Uh, Glenwood just took down Bondurant just a couple minutes ago, so the winner of this gets uh, Glenwood. Two teams that are quite different. Bishop sat at the top of the class of 4A most of the season. Waverly Shell Rock got a big victory in their regional final to get here. They got a tough task ahead of them, but nobody's going to take it better than Waverly Shell Rock. Yeah, and they've, they've been here before. They've been here a few times before, so they, they're used to getting down here. Sioux City, uh, Bishop Heelan, they're, of course, perennials have been down here yes. quite a bit. Uh, and this is their 50th year of basketball. They won the title in 2020, so they're looking to do something more here uh, this year. We'll uh, talk about our uh, road to state now and uh, how these two got here. You want to go ahead? And yeah, so Waverly Shell Rock, 18 and 5, uh, Region 4 champion. They did not defeat Indianola. They defeated North Polk. That was a big upset. The Comets were ranked top five in Class 4A, got kicked out. They're only allowing 35 points per game, which is one of the best in the class. But they're only given, or they're only scoring 47 per game. As for Bishop Heelan, it's been a great season. 21 and 2, took care of Spencer. Uh, big time, 67 to 42. Their game against Lamar's was actually closer. Their sub-state semifinal. They averaged 17 steals per game, which is second in Class 4A, and they're shooting 69% from the free throw line. Brooklyn Staley and Kenley Mice uh, both averaging 13 points per game. Um, it's going to be a great game. They're just a really solid, fundamentally sound team, and that's what you're going to get from Bishop Hill at any time they're down here. All right. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about our seeds for success by Kruger Seeds. Uh, coming up here, and we'll talk a bit more about what these two teams need to do to win in this ballgame here tonight. We'll take a break. You're watching the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. Inside Casey's. Outside Casey's. Inside Casey's. Outside Casey's. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. Order for curbside pickup this winter, and we'll bring your delicious Casey's Pizza order outside so you can stay inside. Now at Casey's, buy one large pizza, get one half off. Casey's, here for staying inside. Here for good. It's Fairway Family Food. Name one reason more people choose to shop at Fairway. 
Lower prices. Name something that Fairway is famous for. The best meat in town. Services! Don't play games with your food. Shop Fairway for the best meat in town. With lower prices and higher quality, everyone's a winner at Fairway. Until next time, this is Fairway Family Food. We're getting ready for the Class 4 a final quarterfinal of the day at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Mural Dar Danielson. Blake Walker here. Let's talk about our Kruger Siege to success for these two teams. Well, for Bishop Heelan, when you're averaging almost 60 points per game, just stick with your type of basketball. And they love to score the basketball, and that's exactly what they have to do. Get it to your playmakers, and don't let anything bog you down. This is not a different team than you faced all season. They faced really good teams all season. One of their two losses is to an out-of-state opponent. Just keep things in front of you, and you're going to be fine. For Waverly Shell Rock, you just have to get over 50. I think that's one of the yeah. biggest things. You have to keep up with Bishop Heelan. You're going to have to have an outstanding game from compared to what you've done. But if your defense can play like they have all season long, you're going to be fine. Hold maybe the team maybe control Heelan. that tempo a little more, not let them run away with it there. Yeah, that would uh, be very crucial. But if they can do that, it's going to be a really tough contest. Go Hawks have a tough challenge in front of them, but I think they're ready for it. But today's Seeds for Success brought to you by Kruger Seeds. And this, next time you're in need of corn or soybean seed, give your local Kruger Seeds dealer a call. Kruger Seeds, first class seed, first name service. Learn more by going to KrugerSeed.com. And man, I did the morning game and then uh, went home and came back a little bit. It almost feels like planting weather out there right now, the, as warm as it, it is. It is absolutely beautiful outside. So, but we got good basketball going on inside here, so something to watch. We appreciate you joining in with us here. We'll take a final break here, come back and be about ready for starting uh, lineups and the tip-off here at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. We, we are. are. We are so much more than an energy company. We are connectors, community protectors, and clean energy leaders. We are job creators, friends and neighbors, stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy behind your everyday. And we are obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Welcome back to the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid-American Energy. We got the western side of the state, northeast side of the state, Bremer County, my home stopping grounds right up in that area. Spent a lot of time in Waverly, a few days fishing on the Shell Rock River near Shell Rock. So, man, they used to catch some snapping turtles in there. <laughs> <laughs> Big ones, I tell you what, when we were kids. But anyway, ready for this uh, ball game here tonight. These uh, two teams, the number three, Bishop Heelan, ready to take on number six, Waverly Shellrock. And uh, this 4A team, we've uh, ramped it up in the scoring a little bit. We weren't getting over 50 in the other games, but uh, every, every winner here has hit the 60-point mark. Uh, in these uh, 4A matchups. Class 4 has usually been, I think, overall in the state. They own some of the more higher scoring teams. Uh, Johnston, obviously, is one of the top. But then the next game after this, Dyke New Hartford, I think they average over 70 per contest. So 
expect a lot of points again in this one. Let's go to our PA announcer. It's 2022 Girls State Basketball quarterfinal matchup featuring the Waverly Shell Rock Go Hawks and the Bishop Helan Crusaders. Fans, tradition is an important part of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union's storied history. Because our past is an integral part of what we do today, we ask that everyone in attendance please join in a round of applause to show our appreciation to all the women who have participated in high school athletics in Iowa. Once an Iowa girl, always an Iowa girl. Fans, at this time, the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union and the Iowa Farm Bureau would like to recognize the outstanding sportsmanship shown by Waverly Shell Rock High School and Bishop Helan High School. In recognition of the importance of good sportsmanship, each state qualifying school was asked to nominate a spectator who represents their school and community in a sportsmanlike manner. Shanna Clee from Independence a member of the IGHSAU Student Athlete Advisory Committee will present each nominee with a certificate of recognition and a $250 check payable to their school's scholarship fund. Please join us in honoring these individuals whose decorum and respect for others serves as a model for all spectators attending interscholastic events. From Waverly Shell Rock High School, Roger and June Huff. And from Bishop Heelan High School, Todd Rorig. The Iowa High School Girls Athletic Union promotes good sportsmanship by participants, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants, officials, and spectators in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, or abusive comments, or intimidating actions directed at officials, participants, coaches, Team representatives or event personnel will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. We thank you for your cooperation and invite you to enjoy the game. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union encourages positive behavior. Pride, respect, leadership, and sportsmanship on the court and in the stands. Remember what a great privilege it is to see your team compete. Thank you for your attendance. Enjoy the game and enjoy the game. All right, fans, it's now time to introduce the players in today's quarterfinal matchup. First, the non-starters and assistant coaches for the Waverly Shell Rock Go Hawks. Number four, Kiri Holmquist. Number 14, Lindsey Overman. Number 20, Ellie Thompson. Number 22, Brenna Bodensteiner. Number 30, Lily Betts. Number 32, Sydney Bienemann. Number 34, Malika Mwangi. Number 40, Sally Gade. Number 50, Emma Thompson. And number 54, Morgan Scott. Assistant coaches for the Gohawks, Dave Arns, Nick Willenborg, and Chelsea Wedeking. And now let's meet the non-starters and the assistant coaches for the Bishop Helan Crusaders. Number three, Addison Keel. Number 13, Peyton Shimmerhorn. Number 23, Jada Newberg. Number 25, Sophia Kuntz. Number 31, Lauren LaFleur. Number 33, Julie Verzal. Number 35, Maddie LaFleur. Number 41, Kiki Dimke. Number 43, Carly Cobe. Number 45, Abby Lee. And number 51, Michaela Morell. Assistant coaches for the Crusaders, Jeff Donaldson, Jessica Carson, Sean Miller, and Olivia Silentic. And now let's meet the starting lineups for both teams. For the Go Hawks, a five foot seven inch senior guard, number two, Trinity Moore. For the Crusaders, a five foot three inch sophomore guard, number one, Maddie Dimke. For the Go Hawks, a five foot five inch senior guard, number 10, Morgan Ike. 
For the Crusaders, a five foot eight inch junior guard, number five, Lauren Peck. For the Gohawks, a five foot five inch senior guard, number 12, Annika Behrens. For the Crusaders, a five foot eight inch sophomore guard, number 11, Brooklyn Stanley. For the Gohawks, the five foot three inch senior guard, number 24, Macy Smith. For the Crusaders, a five foot nine inch junior guard, number 15, Kinley Meese. For the Gohawks, a six foot one inch sophomore forward, number 44, Caitlin Agana. And for the Crusaders, a five foot nine inch senior forward, number 21, Jocelyn Verzal. Head coach of the Go Hawks is Greg Bodensteiner, and the head coach for the Crusaders is Darren Kulstra. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the area in front of the scorer's table for the introduction of our officials for this afternoon's game as assigned by the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. They are Mark Royer, Sean Peterson, and Casey Pelzer. And before we get our ball game today, we'd like to once again thank the Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union for their support. The Iowa Farm Bureau has an office located in each county across Iowa. We'd like to thank the offices listed on your screen for their support of the two teams playing today, Woodbury County and Bremer County. Thanks to the Iowa Farm Bureau for supporting the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union and the Iowa Girl. Let's play basketball. Here we go. Tap goes to Waverly Shawrock. They're in the black uniforms. And Helen in the white started out. Over to Smith. To Barons. Rotated around to Ike. Back up top. Smith. Down low for three. No good. Rebound battled for. Oh, knocked back to her teammate, but a little. <laughs> A little too hard of a push there, and it goes right into the face. May, Macy Smith was not ready. It just nailed Agana, it right yeah. in the face. Yeah, just a miss, miss tap there, and came back at her pretty quick. Time. So back to action here with Helen, their first possession. One thing about Waverly Shellrock, a little bit of a height advantage all across the board. Should be something to watch for. Bounce pass out to Burzal, and now taken away down there by Moore. Moore brings it up. She'll stop, throw it over, and I'll get it back. And trying to get it into the middle, knocked away, a scramble for it, and it'll be a tie-up, and that'll go to Helen as... Almost two Helan players were fighting over the basketball there. Yeah. Lucky it was just a jump ball. Well, they were both playing on the board. Yeah, they couldn't say. tell who, you know, who the teammate was. And allowed Waverly come right in and tie it up. But they uh, Waverly won the tip, so it goes to Helan. They're into the front court. Merzal almost uh, took an extra step. Now driving the middle, bounce pass over, stolen away by Barons. She gets it to Moore. Helan's the one that's supposed to average all these steals per game, but Waverly Shellrock's stifling here on defense start. Bounce pass inside Agana. Powers through up and good. Caitlin Agana right through two defenders. Nice job spinning. Jocelyn Bursel kind of got caught with her leg and fell to the ground trying to get around her. And Waverly gets on the board first. Bounce pass outside to Stanley. She drives nice. in up and off the glass. Nice job getting through the double team by Stanley. Brooklyn Stanley ties it up. They rotate it over. Maybe the Shell Rock looks lost by this zone. Yeah, they come back in the zone. Now they get into Egan and get it into the post. She spins and one. 
We've Big seen, enough. We've seen so many times before at the state tournament, centers that are so fundamentally sound can go such a long way, and Egana has a lot of tools at her repertoire. Yeah, she knew exactly where those defenders were, yeah. out behind her, spun around, sealed them off, and, yeah. and made the shot up in the air. We have a substitution in our first IMP insurance substitution today. Jada Newberg in for Helan as Egana, a 67.3% free throw shooter, completes the three-point play to give the Gohawks a three-point lead. Their biggest of the early going here after leading 2-0. Almost lost there, and it is. Dribbled on the out-of-bounds line, and Waverly Shawrock forces the turnover. Another turnover for him. They wanted a reach-in foul. Obviously didn't get it, but... Good start for Waverly Shellrock all across the board. Come the Gohawks. Splits the defense over. Oh, and tried to pass it inside, but picked off there by Heelan. Newberg goes down, dribbles it back out. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound, battled four, and she can't quite pull it in down there. Macy Smith couldn't quite corral it on the baseline. That was a really nice job by Jaden Nurber to come off the screen there down on the wing and just couldn't hit the three, but she got herself in a good position for it. Here comes Brenna Bodensteiner, an IMT Insurance substitution. All the substitutions brought to you by IMT Insurance today. That one will stay with Helen. Learn how you can be worry-free at IMTINS.com. Oh. Slow start for a Bishop Helen team that averages close to 60 points per contest. And that's exactly what Waverly wants to yeah, see. Yeah, I was going to say, Waverly only giving up 40-sums or 30-sums. So. And only averaging about 40 48. Some. So yeah, 47 a game, yeah. So this is exactly how they want this game to go. They double-team the post high there. There's Lafleur. Now she gets it outside, tries to throw it back inside. It's taken there by Demke. Demke now dribbles in. Demke gets it. Dribbles in the middle, back up against the taller players and gets it off the glass. Wow. Sometimes you get a lucky bounce, and that's exactly how Maddie Demke got it. <laughs> Sometimes it's all about the angle, too, isn't say, it? Yeah. Use the backboard to your advantage. Two taller players, and she puts it up there. Egan it down, loses it, and now a tie-up, and this one will stay with Waverly. As Barons, Annika Barons ties them up. And here comes Addison Keel. Waverly loves their matchup down low with Egna on uh, Lauren Lafleur. She's played pretty well in that post so far. And, and they, they try to, to get it to her yep. on the inbound, and it didn't work. And it can't come to a point where you're trying to force it so much no. because now Helan starts to figure it out. Going to have to switch it up here. 6-1 Egna has all five of Waverly's Shell Rock's points so far. Spinning back. Again, guarded by Barron's. Only gets it off. Outside to Demke. Up to Keel. Back over to Demke. Trying to cut inside against that defense. Egan and kind of patrolling the middle in there. They're doing a good job switching almost every single time. And great uh, hands there up There she defense. goes, and Egan and knocks it away. Good. Hands up defense. Yep, came out. Played her out front. Now into Egan a little high. You got to have a little better entry pass than that. Yeah. She didn't quite get a chance either to get squared up in there yet. But here comes Heelan. Been a while since we had any scoring here. That goes off the knee of Barron's. I'm telling you, the switches off the screen by Waverly Shellrock have been so good, and Bishop Heelan just cannot get it down low. Lauren Peck, Brooklyn Stanley back in for Heelan for IMT Insurance Substitution. And we had uh, That was almost a hop. I'm surprised yeah. it didn't cost travel. Brenna Bonensider stuck in there too, I think. They throw it across for three. No good. Rebound. Underneath. Pulled out of there. Back wow. up and good. Shout out Brooklyn Stanley. I mean, she was shorter than the two people down there and still went up with it. So a one-point lead for Heelan. 
After being down by three early, knocked around, picked up there by Waverly Shellrock. Over to Moore. Goes down low. Look at the three. Now kicked it back up top. Rotated around. Good pass. Back outside. Yep. Moving the ball around well. And then they call a double dribble there against Bodensteiner. Waverly is shuttling them in and out here. Ready to bring in a couple more substitutions. That'll be Lindsey Overman. And... Ellie Thompson in, the senior and the junior. Or excuse me, yeah. Junior to junior. Yes. And long three out. We see a lot of that on your first three attempt in this Yeah, you gotta, arena. You gotta you, settle into things. You warm up in here, but in game condition, sometimes that first three, we've seen a lot of air balls until they Kind of find the range a little bit. Jocelyn's a good player. She'll figure it out here as we keep going. Yep. Bobbed in, looking for Egan down there. Now drives in, gets it back to Egan up off the glass and good. She's got all seven of their points. Every possession all the way down. It's look at her, find her, get her to the basketball, she'll do the rest. And Hewan not having a good answer for her when she gets a clean pass in there and oh. falling down is packed and it'll go back to Waverly Shellrock and back in comes Maddie Demke and Peyton Shimmerhorn. And back in for Waverly is Macy Smith. IMT Insurance substitutions. <laughs> well, we talk about both of them. They got depth on the bench. They're shuttling them in and out here early on. Running that Grinnell College substitution. Every 35 seconds. Yeah, <laughs> those are more like line changes. I was changes. gonna say. <laughs> Now the line kick out. Now skip pass over the top. And oh, nice take steal. it away. Back the other way. Stanley up and good. I think she had all five Waverly Shellrock Gohawks around her. She was still able to put it up and in. Brooklyn Stanley has six of the eight for Elon here in the early going. Coming up on a minute to play first quarter. Bounce pass outside. Dribbles through. Bishop's doing a great job trapping down low and in the corner. I was just about to say, we haven't had many fouls. There's one on uh, that Gohawks haven't one. even committed a foul yet. Second on uh, Heelan. Second team foul, first on Verzal. Under a minute, fakes the three, drives in the free throw line, and then has it knocked away, a scramble for it, and this jump ball will go back to Elon. She thought she had help on the backside. She yeah. turned around and said, all right, where's my player? And nobody was there. And then she thought about that free throw yeah. jumper, but then the defender closed quick, and you're right. Then there was nobody else an outlet to get it to. Everybody was down low. Both teams doing a phenomenal job closing in. Trinity Moore, the senior back end for the Gohawks. And Helen up by one, trying to extend it a little bit here right before the end of the first quarter. Out front with it is Demke, gets it off to Shermerhorn. Back up top to Stanley. Stanley, nice pass nice. inside. Happened nice. good by Shermerhorn. Hit her right in rhythm and she went right up with it. That's the most, I mean, that's the best you can get from a set play to free up your center. Three point lead now for Heelan, their biggest lead in the first quarter. Winded down, lobbed over, almost knocked Ooh. away and they're gonna call her for the foul. That's a good call, she got her hand on the, yeah. just a little bit Shimmer of contact. Horn. She's either gonna poke that away and maybe go up the floor and get a layup or in that case she got the foul. She saw it the entire way, that's a heads up play on defense just a little late. Brenna Bodensteiner back in there. Or wait, no, they got to. Well, so the Gohawks are subbing so much. She get, they just they just to give her the table. admonished her about be sure to check in with us before you run into the game. You made a good point. I, yeah, they sub so often. They are going quickly, and they just kind of ran in when yeah, they buzzed. I was gonna say, but you got to check in, or you're not officially in the game. Seven. Now get it to Egan underneath, and it's knocked away, so 2.9 to go. 
Waverly Shellrock with a chance here for a play. That's Emma Thompson down low. Eganus oh yeah, Thompson, in. So here comes Eganus back out. in, you're right. Two very similar players. I didn't see the number, I was just yeah. said I thought Eganus was in there. They, so. look, they look similar. Yeah, Thompson came in for a minute, now Eganus back in there. See if they run a play to her, no, they go out long. Gotta Over to the corner, and they won't get a shot off. A good first quarter though. 10 to seven, Heelan. After one, we'll be back with the second quarter after this of the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Owl Farm Bureau. We, we are. are. We are so much more. Than an energy company. We are connectors. Community protectors. And clean energy leaders. We are. Job creators. Friends and neighbors. Stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy. Behind your everyday. And we are. Obsessively. Relentlessly. At your service. Good morning. The yeses are silent. The fun is always loud. And now it's easy to plan your Des Moines adventure. Introducing the Catch List. A list of all things you can't miss. All the thrills, all the chills, hops, and drops. Des Moines is a city of love that'll put a smile on your face. It's easy to picture yourself here. Find your adventure at catchdesmoines.com slash catchlist today. And Central College is a new tuition price of just $18,600. That means the college experience that opens doors for a lifetime is now more affordable than ever. And scholarships are still available. Apply today at central.edu. Sometime we'll do name the college of the schools playing here, these two teams. <laughs> we'll see if you know them. You probably do. There's a foul on... Um, Meese, or no, was it? Oh, it was Stanley. Yeah. Yep, Stanley. You know, a good first quarter for both teams. It's like we've talked about. This is pretty much how Waverly Shellrock wants this thing to go. Keep this thing low scoring. Keep it close, yep. Don't let them pull away. Keep giving it to Caitlin Higgina. They haven't been able to get it into her in a bit. They've been defending her pretty well, sliding back on that zone. Oh, and well, that's the thing when you extend those offensive possessions, you, you know, sometimes you make them turn it over. And when those full court passes work, they work. And when they don't work, yeah. it's tough. Here comes Hila. Down the lane, kick out for three block. Aiden says, no way. She came all the way from the baseline to come all the way up and block that thing. Even when Bishop Heelan thought they had that open yeah. shot. It was a good loop around and you thought, hey, and here's a, some more IMT insurance substitutions. We'll tell you about that after the inbound. And stolen away on the inbound play by Barons. Six turnovers already by Heelan. Waverly Shellrock's committed eight of their own, but. Up top with it, Tim Smith. Now on the wing. Ike. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass. Yeah, that was close to being a problem. That was partially blocked, but it gets into Egana. She spins back in. Oh, doesn't quite go. Not a bad move, just couldn't it's get a it great to fall. move. I mean, that is how it's supposed to be done when you're playing post. One of the few post moves she's missed. There's a banker off the glass <laughs> for three. Uh, are most banks open after five? I guess they are here at w <laughs> Wells Fargo. Well, Brooklyn Stanley has nine. Egana has seven. It's been a while since Egana scored, though. And then a foul the other way. And that'll be Waverly Shawrock's first foul of the night. I'd say that's pretty good. You went pretty much. See the replay here. Stanley off the top of the uh, square, and it's down. <laughs> Use the backboard. And that Gohawk foul goes to Macy Smith. We lob it out high to Demke. Now inside, and they're going to call a push from behind on Barron. So two quick fouls. 
on the Gohawks. That's just two, though. They only have two so far in the half. Yeah. So, and four on Heelan. They get it into the post. Meese back out. Little drive, nice. nice little drive and pop by Demke. Her hesitation freed her up, and she's able to finish it the rest of the way. So the lead now up to eight all of a sudden here as Waverly Shawrock yet to score yeah, somebody, early in this second quarter. Somebody besides Egan has got to score here. Then they draw the foul against Demke. That's uh, Demke's second foul. Bodensteiner back in for an IMT insurance substitution. Oh, between the legs, but she couldn't get it out of there. That ball can get a little slick sometimes. Oh, Stanley almost came up between the legs and then up behind her, but she touched the end line. Yeah, that ball can do some strange things. Oh, she catches the rim and the shot is good by Macy Smith. See, Waverly Shell Rock, they're gonna have to start breaking this zone. They're so confused, it seems like, when they're up against the Crusaders defense. So it took them a little bit of time here to score when all three girls are standing there in front of you. Second quarter, six point lead, and there's good defense from behind by Smith, forces the turnover. Now Waverly Shell Rock, a chance to kind of get back at this lead. The eight point lead, the biggest for either team so far here. Here come the Gohawks. Trinity Moore, Stanley picks her up. They extend that zone out a little bit. They're making it hard on those guards. Yeah, they, I mean, they just have to kind of sit and evaluate at the top of the key. There's oh, a three, long deep three. It is off no good. I mean, if you can hit them, they're not guarding you yeah. out there. But Yeah, it's a good shot if it goes, but. I've heard of out shooting the zone, but <laughs> got to I start hitting some shots here. Maybe not the one they drew up. I was going to say. Newberg over to Meese. Back to Keel. And to Meese. She goes up and under. Hits the backboard. Battle for it. Pulled out of there. Back up again. No good. How about this rebounding? Yeah, Helen's getting about... Four attempts at the second chance point here. Driving in is Meese. One thing's for sure, Bishop Heelan's patient. Yeah. Whatever shot they're going to take, it's going to be high percentage. Over to Keel. Still pretty good defense by Waverly. They get it in. Cross the baseline, bounce in. They throw it up there, and it doesn't go. LaFleur. And then they call a jump ball which will go back to Heelan. Wow. I mean, I, they did everything they could to get the best shot. LaFleur kind of got caught up underneath, so it kind of altered her shot. But I think, let's see, who came in there? It was uh, Lindsey Overman, I believe, for Waverly Shell Rock. Man, there's bodies flying I was going to say, that place. time. This uh, got their legs caught up. Henley Meese got tripped up trying to get through a screen. You and wonder why the defenses are so good. It's because they're really not letting you move. Shermerhorn back in for an IMT insurance substitution. She's trying to post up against Agano. They throw it out deep to Stanley. And she's guarded her. Now they try to go nice. underneath. Oh, good look. Threaded the needle to Stanley. She was able to one hand grab that thing. That's how she was able to finish. And there was not much room to get that through the defense. The lead back up to eight. Here for Heelan. Waverly Shawrock on the drive, no. It's a big possession here for Heelan. On the drive, the block by Agena, her second block. I give credit to Shimmerhorn, she wanted to try it. Yeah. Egana's just so tall, it really helps. And Egana's quickness is, no, is yes. deceiving. She gets to the, the basketball quick there. Shimmerhorn oh. had a step. They can't, they tried throwing across the lane. That's not an easy pass to do. Here comes Heelan back the other way, under three minutes to play, first half. 
Good job by the Go Hawks in transition to at least stop a transition run. Up top for three. Good! Shimmerhorn shoots over top of Egana that time. Nice job. 11 point lead. Timeout Waverly Shell Rock. It's like 30 seconds. It just so much frustration. They they give him about four shots down there the one time, and then they come down and they've been unable to. They've kind of shut Egan off. They, they, yeah, they can entry pass into her is not easy. They've tightened up their zone just a little bit more. I think they're fine with giving them space on the yeah. outside. As long as they keep that paint locked up, I don't think but there's much else. If you can get it into her, whether or not she can get a shot off, but in and out, it's always and that always opens up yeah. that outside too. But Waverly Shawrock, they're going to have to talk about that a little bit here. Coach uh, Bodensteiner, how can we do be a little more efficient and better on offense against this zone? Well, Bishop Heelan's really spread things out. In the beginning, they were really kind of stuck together, not a lot of spacing. Now they've really spaced apart. That's freeing up shooters every single time. They've outscored them. Heelan has 10 to 2, Waverly Shawrock, in this uh, second quarter. And here comes the Gohawks after the timeout. See if they can get some offense going. They're going to in there, trying to get position. Yeah, that zone, it's just so deceiving. You think you'd have perfectly fine holes to pass through. Now they dish it to Egan. I think she might have walked. They didn't call it. There's a three by Bodensteiner. That is a huge shot. Keeps healing from getting away too far. That cuts it down to eight. And up over the basket and the rebound, Bodensteiner again. That's something Waverly Shellrock might learn from. If you get it down to Egana, that really draws all the attention, frees up the shooter. That's what outside. I said. Either she's going to shoot it or you get it back out. But if you let her get a touch on it, but so far now, see, they're sagging right in on her. It's going to force quick, precise passing by the Go Hawks. Three from the top of the key, no good. Rebound comes off to Keel. But that's not a bad possession. No, that's no, exactly wasn't. what you want to have happen. Stanley takes it right into Egan as she blocks it just standing there with her left hand. Intended to be a block. No, but went right into her hand, and she's got three blocks now, I believe. And a chance for Waverly to cut into the lead again. Lob over to the corner. Now into Egan. Oh, she couldn't quite get it there, but save. Three. No good. Just out. Bodensteiner. Had that one roll in and out. And quickly, Stanley down the middle. Out for three. That's off. Rebounded by Thompson. And there's a foul call. So things getting pretty frantic here. I mean, Bishop <laughs> Heelan's not great at up-tempo. I mean, I think that's one thing that Coach will probably talk about. Just kind of, if you get set in your half-court set, I think you're going to be fine. But Yeah. Sure, they put that foul on. We'll have to check that. As we're winded down toward the end of the half, Go Hawks would like to get some points here. There's a three off transition. Good! Brando Bowden Steiner hits another. I'd keep shooting if I were her. She's gotten it back in this ball game here. Well, she must not bother that one ruled out because she shot it again back the other way. That one's off. Egg and a rebound. Here come the Go Hawks. Trinity Moore pulls up. Looking for Bowden center, fakes. Now she'll drive, kicks out. To the hoop. Oh, oh almost an and one. But she draws the foul, does Ellie Thompson. It's been a heck of a response by the Go Hawks, though. Down by 12, you figure out the defense just a little bit better. You sit back, put together a nice little run here before the end of the half. That was on Shimmerhorn, that's her third foul. And to the line, Ellie Thompson shooting 77% from the line. A little short, that one. Some say we're never supposed to say their free throw percentage when they come up to the line. <laughs> up the line. <laughs> yeah, or if they haven't missed one, but more substitutions here. IMT insurance substitutions. Here's the second free throw, and that one is right through the middle of the net. So the lead that was uh, 11 down to four here. Let's see if Heelan holds for one. Still just two fouls committed all half by Waver the Shell Run. Outside nine to go. They get it to Newberg. 
Over to Stanley. Stanley drives, takes it in. Oh, partially blocked by Agana at the buzzer. And Wavy Shellrock has come back to cut the 11 point lead down to four here at the half. We'll come back and talk a little bit more about the first half coming up after this on, uh, at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year. And remember, today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. I hear you're looking for a great college where you can get an affordable education. SWIC is the place for you. I appreciate the personalized attention. And I've gotten to meet people from all around the world. The SWIC student housing is incredible. I like SWIC's hands-on training. And I'll start my career in two years. I can schedule my classes online or face-to-face. -face. SWIC feels like a community. Like, like family, family, like, like home. home. SWIC, SWIC is a place, place for you. you. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. We're at halftime at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. Healing up 20 to 16. Dar Danielson, Blake Walker, and well, that second quarter, Blake, for a while there, looked like uh, Healing was going to pull away, but Waverly Shellrock, a good closing to the second quarter, and it's just a four point lead. That, uh, Healing only extended the lead by one after the first quarter, so uh, a good close by Waverly Shellrock. Yeah, and the zone was really killing the Go Hawks, and then after a quick timeout, they were able to kind of sit back, recognize the zone, and they've kind of been able to shoot around it. They're forcing it down to Egana, but at the same time, it's freeing up shooters on the outside. That's what's really been able to help uh, yeah. get them going. As That's forward. pretty obvious. When she touches it, either she's going to you know, turn and try to shoot or she's going to touch it and they're going to look at her and then she's going to push it back out. Yeah, so yeah. that's a key. It appears to Waverly Shellrock's offense is to get her a touch. Then for... Um, Helen uh, Stanley with 11 points. She's been driving a lot. She had one three, but she's been kind of uh, the offense a little bit there. Uh, Shimmerhorn with five, Demke with four. So, of course, not a lot of scoring overall, but uh, Stanley's been the main uh, cog in the offense for them right now. Yeah, and Waverly Shellrock's currently out shooting Helen. 46% for them, 39 just for Helen. Uh, ten turnovers, though, for Waverly Shellrock. That'll be big. But Bishop Helan hasn't scored since two minutes and 47 seconds to go in the second half or in that first, second quarter. Excuse me. So gonna have to break that drought when they come out of it. All right, we're at halftime. We'll take another break here. Dar Danielson and uh, Blake Walker. Hey, we're on camera. Don't. Uh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau on the Girls Union Digital Network powered by Mid-American Energy. I'm Lisa Brinkmeyer here along with Brent Johnson, president of Iowa Farm Bureau. First off, we'd like to thank you for your title sponsorship of the Girls Athletic Union as well as the 2022 Girls State Basketball Tournament. Brent, why is it important for Iowa Farm Bureau to invest in Iowa's youth? Yeah. Well, our youth is tomorrow's leaders. And, you know, Iowa Farm Bureau, we put a, a lot of emphasis in that. And, you know, every year we give $250,000 to kids in scholarships throughout the entire state. 
over the last several years, we've provided almost a half a million dollars in, in teacher education and, and products for their classrooms. One of the things that we're really proud of is um, being able to take care of our students on the athletic fields as well. You know, Iowa is one of only seven states that even offers concussion insurance. And again, this year, Iowa Farm Bureau, we're proud to announce that at no cost to the student or their families, Iowa Farm Bureau is providing that concussion insurance for those student athletes so that they remain safe and can compete at a high level. Fantastic. We are. We are. We are so much more than an energy company. We are connectors, community protectors, and clean energy leaders. We are job creators, friends and neighbors, stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy behind your everyday. And we are obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Sometimes people who seem to know everything. Dental insurance costs a fortune and it covers nothing. Don't. For instance, personal plans from Delta Dental cut the cost of many procedures in half. So be careful what you hear. How important are teeth anyway? Get the facts. Contact Delta Dental about saving with personal dental plans today. Good morning. The yeses are silent. The fun is always loud. And now it's easy to plan your Des Moines adventure. Introducing the catch list. A list of all things you can't miss. All the thrills, all the chills, hops, and drops. Des Moines is a city of love that'll put a smile on your face. It's easy to picture yourself here. Find your adventure at catchdesmoines.com slash catchlist today. Inside Casey's, outside Casey's, inside Casey's, outside Casey's, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Order for curbside pickup this winter and we'll bring your delicious Casey's pizza order outside so you can stay inside. Now at Casey's, buy one large pizza, get one half off. Casey's, here for staying inside, here for good. We are at halftime. Bishop Heelan leading Waverly Shot Rock 20 to 16 in this uh, final 4A quarterfinal of the day. The winner goes on to play Glenwood, the 64 59 winner over Bondurant Farrar. And Blake, that was probably the closest game I've seen here at the tournament so far. Bondurant came down with a chance for the three to tie that up late. Glenwood got up by 15, I think, was the yeah. largest he got. Bondurant came all the way back, just couldn't quite hit the shots when it was needed, especially there in the end. Glenwood's able to survive. This, this class has been fun to watch. Xavier pulled away, took down uh, Central DeWitt by six or seven, I believe. And then DCG just shot lights out against Benton Community. Both teams combined for 23 pointers. If DCG keeps shooting like that, it's going to be a really tough go for the rest of these teams in Class 4A. All right, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments the coaches are making here at halftime. We'll take another break. We'll come back, and we'll be about ready to start the second half and see what they are talking about in there. That's coming up. You're watching the Girls' State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. Sometimes people who seem to know everything... 
Dental insurance costs a fortune and it covers nothing. Don't. For instance, personal plans from Delta Dental cut the cost of many procedures in half. So be careful what you hear. How important are teeth anyway? Get the facts. Contact Delta Dental about saving with personal dental plans today. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. I hear you're looking for a great college where you can get an affordable education. SWIC is the place for you. I appreciate the personalized attention. And I've gotten to meet people from all around the world. The SWIC student housing is incredible. I like SWIC's hands-on training. And I'll start my career in two years. I can schedule my classes online or face-to-face. -face. SWIC feels like a community. Like, like family, family, like, like home. home. SWIC, SWIC is a place, place for you. you. You're watching the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau on the Girls Union Digital Network. Thanks for watching here tonight. A good one at halftime. It's uh, 20 to 16. Bishop Heelan over Waverly Shawrock. Guard Danielson, Blake Walker. Let's talk quickly about what those coaches had to say to their teams in the locker room at half. I think for Bishop Heelan, it's just continue to space the floor and do what you were doing in that first quarter. I mean, he had everything set out right in front of you. Keep getting it down low, but maybe start making a couple more shots. I think that's one of the biggest things that they can do. They average 60 points per game, so I think it's the shots are eventually going to start falling. And for Waverly Shell Rock, just keep shooting, out shooting the zone because that's what got you back to a five point or a four point game like we have and, here. And get egg in the touches. Yes. You know, whether she scores or the touches it and kicks it back. It's almost, uh, she needs to touch uh, it on every single possession. Yeah, and just move that defense around because yes. that, that almost has moved it around more than the passing it was when she gets it yeah. and they collapse in there. So ready to go. It was 10-7 uh, healing after the first quarter. Then they outscored them 10-9 to to lead 20-16 to here at the half. But a big run at the end of that second quarter. And Brooklyn Stanley. two quarters to play yeah. for a berth in the semifinals. Brooklyn Stanley leading all scores with 11 for Bishop Heelan. Egan not only uh, leading on the offensive end, but defensively had four blocks in that first half. And here we go. It's the Gohawks starting out over to Smith. Kicks it over. Round to the baseline into Egan. She spins. Double team kicks it out. Hot triple team. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce pass baseline, now up top again. Into the zone, and I thought she was gonna kick it out before. Now quickly back the other way, up, and rolls off. No good, Stanley right there for the putback. Right place, right time for Stanley. That's 13, 13 for her. Yep, 13 points for her to lead all scores. And there's a pass, oh, that is, Thrown off a Waverly show. How has it been twice today that Macy Smith has taken the ball directly <laughs> I don't to the know. face? She's got a poor Macy. The second one there. She's going to have <laughs> oh a headache goodness. when this is all done. Oh. Yeah, that first one was a tap out, right? Yeah, from, that, from one was, that one was a and let me try that, to get this That thing. was, yeah, trying to save the ball off her face to get it back. Down the lane, looks like she traveled, but they're going to call the foul since she was pushed first. Barron's second. First team foul here. Free throw. Bounces and goes down. Breaks her dry spell. She was 0 for 3 field goal wise today so far for Meese. And only saw the second one is good. 
See, we didn't see a lot of fouls in that first half. No, oh, Waverly Shell Rock only committed two. Yeah. They've got They're two, halfway there. Two, two already. <laughs> or one already, yeah, here to start the third quarter. Here the Gohawks are. Lob it in Agana. Spins around. Turns and fires a little long. It's going to get tough because they just yeah. keep collapsing down on her. Hard, maybe force out a little bit there, but three people all over. They cut through. Pack drives and yeah, that's gonna stay on, on the floor. floor. That'll be Smith, I think. Macy Wait. Smith. Took a swipe across as she was heading to the basket. Second on Macy Smith and second team foul here. They lob it out deep to Brazal. Now up to Stanley. Oh. She has been impressive. Just a sophomore yeah. Brooklyn Stanley is. 15. That lead back up to 10 here. As Waverly yet to score in the third quarter. Almost two minutes in. Into Agana. She tries to go across the lane with it. Waverly Shellrock has kind of pulled away from what got them back in the ball game. They're trying to get it down low, but once they get it down low, they're not looking out to the perimeter. Yeah, they got to spread out a little bit, give her somebody to throw it back to. Stanley put back. My Man, goodness. She knows know. where to be, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, she does. Heck of a run to start here by Bishop Young. 12 point lead is the uh, 6 0, or no, 8 0 run to start the quarter here. Full timeout. Oh, yeah. You're watching the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the yeah. Iowa Farm Bureau. We, we are. are. We are so much more than an energy company. We are connectors, community protectors, and clean energy leaders. We are job creators, friends, and neighbors, stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy behind your everyday. And we are obsessively, relentlessly at your service. See the fans here for the Girls State Basketball Tournament. Jersey Day. Yeah, it's Jersey Day. Those are the Helen fans. On the fan camp, the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. Dart Danielson, Blake Walker. An 8-0 run for Helen to start the third quarter behind six points out of Brooklyn Stanley. She seems to be there to get the rebound put back. She'll take it on the drive. She just you got to identify her a little better, I guess. It's a right place, right time mindset. And take it away. And now back to the Go Hawks. It was taken away on the inbound, but then knocked out of bounds. Act like it never happened. Except you got to throw him from the side now. That makes it a little harder. And they do get it in to Barron's. And Smith brings it up. Healing fans wanted to travel. Smith drives, puts it up, and gets it blocked with a foul be called on LaFleur. Just enough. She kind of came yeah. down like a volleyball tap, and that sealed it for the official there. So Smith to the free throw line. She's got one bucket and makes the free throw. Maybelay now three of four from the line today. She's shooting at a 51% clip on the free throw line. We've seen how crucial getting the line today has been for a lot of teams. In that Benton game against Dallas Center Grimes, Benton only got to the line once. There she got the rumbler and the roll when it went in. So, Waverly Sherrock on the board now here for the first time in the second half after that 8 0 run by Heelan. Cuts the lead down to 10. Back to work on defense for the Go Hawks. Should be no panic by the Go Hawks. I mean, you were in this position earlier. There's Stanley, kicks it out. On the drive, cross court for three. No good. Rebound, Agana. Off the miss by Newberg. It's one thing Waverly doubled up on rebounds in that first half. Yeah. For seven offensive and four of those, I think we're on that one possession down there for Healing. 
Throw it across, three short. That's from way out there. Yeah, a long, long shot by Bodensteiner. She's hit two threes, but has not been able to hit since then. And now Helen will work it a little bit. Screen heavy offense. Demke pulls it out. Bounces in the middle of LaFleur. LaFleur dumps it off. To nice. Back. Nice little give and go there. Poolstra's done a great job helping his girls get these plays along. They're really setting each other up. Beautiful offensive sets. Baseline, fake up, and rolls around and down. The swirly. <laughs> All the way around and down. Physics don't matter to that basketball sometimes. No. Annika Burns. Oh my. It's that one off no good. Egan with the rebound. Stanley was feeling it. Oh, trying to get it into Egan and then a foul called. I think that's Bodensteiner. Yeah. And we'll get her. Uh, no, my, well, I, was, I was confused. Nobody really knew who the foul was going to be. Shermerhorn in on an IMT insurance substitution. All substitutions here at the tourney brought to you by IMT Insurance. Learn how you can be worry free at IMTINS.com. So, this little token pressure here by the Gohawks. Still trailing by 10. Driving in, kicking up top to Demke. Demke attacks, gives to LaFleur. LaFleur in on Agana. Now back outside to Stanley. Stanley, she'll take it right to the hole. No doubt about that. So impressive today. Eight points here in the third for there her. There is no one back for Ravely Show, right? There they go. And now they get somebody to help out. 19. What's the most we've seen from a single player so far this tournament? Because that's got to be up there. I don't know. I have to ask Jaeger on that. There's a three. By Moore. Well, that helps. I was going to say, they're not going away easy. Cuts it to nine, but back the other way, a three. They were shooting just 18% from three-point range. That's their third three of the ball game there. Schirmerhorn with her second three. Inside, and then a foul will be called. I think that'll go against Helen. Demp. Yeah, Helen fans wanted a jump ball. Like his grab. Demke's third, second on the team. And some more substitutions, IMT insurance substitutions here. One of them is Meese back in there, and Keel's back in there, I believe, and knocked away. I think Moore just tried the thing where you knock it off someone's foot on an inbound, and hopefully you can get it back, or at least tried to hit it off someone's back. Usually it's the backside you try that. Keel rotates it. Over for three, no good. Rebound, knocked out but picked up by Waverly Shell Rocks. Thompson. Moore. Need a bucket here. Oh, trying to get it to Agana. She goes down to the floor and picks it up. Now they rotate it over. Oh, and Bone Steiner took her eyes off it for a minute. Here comes Lauren Peck and Jocelyn Verzal. And Macy Smith back in for the Gohawks. Built that lead back up to 12. Yeah, it, it, it's comfortable right now for Healy. And there's the drive and the bucket nice by, Peck. by Peck. Three, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Verzal. Now taken away, up and good. Heads up play by Ellie Thompson to at least play up after the main. He's getting a little fast and furious here I was going to say, they're flying around. But still a 12-point lead. There's a three. That oh. makes it home. Twice in one game. Lauren Peck. She even surprised herself with that, I think. 
lead up to 15. Into Agana, she catches it with the left hand. Tries to go up, she'll draw the foul. But man, that was like a first baseman reaching out and grabbing that ball Good when hands. it came into her. Good hands. I think Stanley had the foul there. One thing I've noticed about Bishop, he Bishop Heelan, they have some of the best bench celebrations I have ever seen from the team when they make a shot. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Hopefully they, the cameraman can catch it sometime. They do a lot of that, don't they? Yeah, they do. That's part of the fun of being here. If you're on the bench, you can keep the emotion up. Waverly Shellrock needs points. Any way they can get them now. Go across the top. Smith drives. Runner. Ooh. She'll draw the foul. Good take, though. I think that was Verzal. Third, That's her third, the team's fourth. Free throw out, no good. Not a lot of free throws in general today by both teams. Not a lot of fouls, really. I mean, no. like we said, Waverly Shellrock only had two fouls total in the first half. Smith hit her first two free throws and misses her next two. Oh my goodness. Agana. Pulls that out of there and going down hard, straight on her back. There was uh, Barron's. And she gets she up. She hops right back up. Yeah. One of those where might knock the air out of you for a bit. That was. She'll go out. That was a thud. Ella Thompson, Ellie Thompson in for an IMT insurance substitution. So 15 point lead, 30.4 to play. Waverly Shawrock going full court press, trying to get the ball back. Here. It's been a good quarter by Halen, 20 points now. Drop back, they throw it over, they get it through. And knocked away on the other end by Ike. She saw Peck last second, just a little late. Luckily gets a lucky bounce on the steal attempt, but. How's your inbound play? Let's see. Basic throw it in here. Keel looking for something. Gets it outside to Stanley. Now over to Meese. And Meese well for the travel. Oh, Randy had a chance to get the catch there. Our director I don't know if Randy wanted to hop over the table there. Randy couldn't, couldn't get that one. Write that down, Devin. We'll have to bring that up with Randy later. <laughs> it's been got, a day of a ton of balls coming over here. Got Devin in all, brought him all the way in from Cedar Rapids. <laughs> to help out here. Devin has his headphones plugged in. I thought he was going to take the laptop with him. And Egan up draws the foul. You can hear that whistle on that uh, mic right on the rim there. And Curious to see the replay on that one. Yeah. Not a lot of fans liked it. For fans either. didn't like it, but I'm not sure who they charged the foul to, but they're going to do the free throw line. Oh. Got the rattle and roll. That's her first points since the first quarter. Egana still just a sophomore. That's eight for her. She averages about 14. On track. But we saw Bondurant come back against Glenwood. So. so here they want to pressure a little bit. Clock running down. They either didn't realize it or didn't think they were going to try it. it wasn't going to get much. So at the end of three, 40 26, Waverly Shellrock has some work to do to get back into this one at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. We are. We are. We are so much more than an energy company. We are connectors, community protectors, and clean energy leaders. We are job creators, friends and neighbors, stewards of your dollars and savings. Yes, we. We. We are so much more. We are the energy behind your everyday. And we are obsessively, relentlessly at your service. It's Pairway Family Food. We asked 100 grocery shoppers who has the best online shopping. Fairway Meat and Grocery. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Name a reason you do your online shopping at Fairway. Expert shoppers pick out my groceries. Survey says! Fairway experts hand pick your groceries. With lower prices and higher quality, everyone's a winner at Fairway. Pick up a great deal when you shop at fairway.com today. Fan State Tournament merchandise is now available online. Go to IGSHAU.org to browse and customize your merchandise to match your style. And we are at the Girls State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. We start the fourth quarter. Waverly Shot Rock with the ball and trailing here. And there's a takeaway and then a foul. It's weird looking at stats. So Heelan has shot 36 times. Waverly Shell Rock has only shot 19. That's going to be, that's that's a big, big factor in this game that they've just not only are, you know, struggling to make shots, but the Crusaders really aren't letting the Gohawks even shoot the ball. And what are the rebounds, too? They've gotten more rebounds on the shots. Yeah, right now, Heelan 20 rebounds, and Waverly Shell Rock just nine. Here's Heelan driving it in. They're attacking, and there's going to be a hip check by Barons for a foul. Also 17 turnovers by the Gohawks compared to Bishop Heelan's nine. It makes the 15 foul. Barron's third foul. Yeah. Inside to Stanley goes between the wickets and then tied up. Egana goes down there and ties her up, but it'll stay with Heelan. The Hawks haven't been shy to jump at every opportunity they've gotten to go for a loose ball. One thing I've noticed. And a foul on the drive. I think, is that Egana? Yeah. Egana gets called, Meese goes to the line. Saw just a little frustration there in Egana's face. See here. Yeah. She was jumping in, Meese was yeah. jumping in. Found a collision. Egan has had to work for everything here. There's a free throw. Double, triple team. Nice's points have only come at the line today. And you're right. That's four points on four free throws. Four for four. The lead to 16. There's a uh, three rattles in and out. Battle for it. Egana back in there. Knocks it away momentarily, but picked up by Peck. Lobbed it down deep to Dempke. Take it away by Waverly. Shell Rock. Nice job by Moore. Get her hands in there. Moore lobs over the top to Smith. Rotate it to Moore for three. That's off. Rebounded on the other side. Oh. And a tie-up. And that was going to fall right into uh, uh, Steyer's yeah. lap. And Egan and, and, and Bostiner kind of backed off one of those, oh, you got it, no, and then, and then it kind of ended up on the floor there, allowed Elon to get a hand in. Luckily, the Gohawks keep possession. But yeah, possession arrow will stay with the Gohawks. You get it now deep, but quickly again, that trap zone, but there is a foul on Meese. Kenley Meese, the junior. Well, that's six already on, on Helan here. So the next one, Waverly will be shooting. Same I thing I don't, for. Yeah, I don't know why it says bonus, but. Yeah, it wouldn't be the bonus till the next one. I was one. gonna say. Whoever's maybe. running the main well, scoreboard maybe there's, here. Maybe they're saying the next one is the bonus. Possibly. Put it up there, Possibly. Yeah. I know, I have a hard enough time to keep it straight what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Egana checks out. Get her a little rest before she finishes this thing out. 
Not really anyone in major foul trouble right now. A couple with three fouls, but. Oh, backs in and off of the defender. Barron's now back the other way, up ahead. Oh, rolls out of there and goes to Heelan. Thompson put that up and just round the yeah. cylinder and out. Just struggling to find that basket there. Lindsey Overman in on an IMT insurance substitution. Pressure now by the Gohawks, trying to generate some turnover and then get some points here, and there's a foul by Smith. Not a heavy pressure, but definitely something that could, you know, pester you a little bit. And that will put him in the bonus, so one on one here. Bring uh, Kenley Meese down to the, or no, that's uh, Stanley. She's got 19 to lead all scores. She's looking at a possible Casey's Player of the Game award here. And misses the front end of the one on one. You jinxed her with that Casey's award. Ah, thing well, you know. Now. I think she'll be fine. Yeah, she's <laughs> one minor blip so far in what she's done. Smith drives the lane off the glass. Tell you, Heelan's gone a little cold here. Still no points this quarter. Oh, they got two. They got two free throws. Oh, two free throws. Yeah. Just two. Oh, I was looking at Waverly Shell Rock on my box. Yeah. That's Waverly's first points. Yes, in the quarter. Waverly's first points. In the Waverly, good to see them back in the state tournament, sixth time in school history. And they're going to see is this a full or a 30? 30 second like 30. Time now. And you talk about with Waverly Shell Rock, heck of an athletic year. State yeah. uh, went to the Dome in football, uh, wrestling, obviously. Been a good year to be a Go Hawk. Yeah, and then Macy Smith and Annika Barron's the finals of the girls' state wrestling. Team. Yes, yeah. And Waverly, a hotbed of wrestling with obviously boys and the girls have come on, and of course that'll be a sanctioned sport next year. Yeah, and we'll be covering it. In, in, uh, the girls union so yeah they do a lot a lot of different things for their athletes tough school in any sport that is for sure well they got some work to do here yet 538 to go trailing by 14. I mean, Heelan hasn't scored a lot, but neither is uh, I was going to say. Waverly I mean, Shell Rock. They haven't scored much of their own here. It's even up at, what, 2-2 in the fourth quarter. I mean, Waverly's pretty much given up their average. And Stanley says, well, I'll take care of that. She just, Brooklyn Stanley gets points up to 21 now. Yeah, we'll have to check. I think that might be close to one of the most individual player scores so far this tournament. Throw it across, gonna try to run it down. She does, good tightrope <laughs> over there by Hallie Thompson. Outside to Overman. Down on the block, give it back, and a good give and go, and she draws the foul, does Barron's. That was a really nice give and go. Let's see if we can get Randy on that, see if he can. Floor checks out. Just can't find the bottom of the bucket. There. Trying to figure out who has scored the most points as a player so far in the tournament. Producer Randy, you want to get that for us? <laughs> we can't let him just sit over there doing nothing. I was going to say. Even as he was game off. He might be off for the rest of the night, honestly. I don't know. And there's a foul inside on a hold. I think that will go against Lindsey Overman. Starting to see a couple fans start to seep in for our next game. Dyke New Hartford takes on South Central Calhoun. So we move down to class two. Dyke right over in that area. 
of Northeast Iowa around always the south of Waverly. Always a threat at the Girls State Show. Yep. And then we have our game at 8.30. If you can stay up for the late night. Yeah. Iowa City Regina and uh, Panorama. So. To the line, Newberg gets the first one. Overall, I think for Coolstra and his team and his staff, this is the type of game that you want to be in. I mean, this is the this is how your ideal game plays out. Obviously not the best start, but no. they've really exploded here in the second half. It was tight early, and then you did what yeah. you needed to do to, to pull out here. Still four minutes to play, but... It's the type of basketball that got you a championship a couple of years ago. Granted, you had a really good player in Skinner, but still. Stanley with the rebound. Brings it up, cuts inside. Demke cuts back in, but dribbles it out. Now they get into LaFleur. She throws it out to Stanley. Stanley's going to drive, nice bounce pass. pass into LaFleur. Okay, Sahara Williams had 24 points for, for, Waterloo, uh, West. for Waterloo West. So Needs three more and she'll tie it. Stanley not far away from that right now. Floor. This is a free throw. Well, that's the thing at the state tournament. You don't see a lot of big single game performances, a lot of team performances that really work together. I think the last time we had the same numbers would be probably back in the Ellie Ruffridge days. With yeah. Pocahontas. Yeah, when she was really. It was almost 40 points a night. Lighting it up all up. the time, and that was, yeah. You'll get your occasional breakthroughs, but. And knocked away by LaFleur, driving, running off the glass, and LaFleur gets the rebound. How did she get up from the floor back down to the glass? That's a wild. And here's Stanley. She'll throw it up the floor, bounce pass across to LaFleur. She's triple team, pulls it out. Egan and now in there with her hand wrapped in the middle of that defense. She comes out, push it back out to Meese. She tries to throw it up as she stops. I was just about to say it didn't look like the yeah. Crusaders wanted to score her and just kind of waited out and then comfortable lead here by 19. They have not been able to get it into Egan in a while. Runner off the glass is good by Trinity Moore. Timeout Waverly Show. Rebounds are going to be the big. This is 30, or is it? Is it 30 or full? Well, yeah, it's oh, a 30. 30. Okay. Biggest thing I've noticed, and one stat that's going to really stand out, 26 rebounds for Heelan, 11 for Waverly Shell Rock. Not yeah. saying that's the reason why it's a 17-point game, but it's definitely one of those things that you well, look back on. But it, offensively, you can tell by the numbers it was one and done, and that's how then Heelan built that, you know, that advantage here. Yeah. And, um, and then just unable... For a stretch, they, they were getting it into Aganum, but then Heelan adjusted again and just collapsing everybody on her and say, hey, you guys, everybody else is going to beat us. We're not going to let her get in there and back out or get it in there and let her score here. Yeah. So the winner will be Glenwood, a 64-59 winner in the uh, 3-15 game. And Glenwood looked dominant for three quarters. For three quarters, yeah. And, and then, then the fourth quarter didn't look so dominant. If we get a Glenwood team that had those strong three quarters. And Bondurant started... Hitting from the outside, yeah. throwing in some three-pointers, and they yeah. were within a three and tying it up there. The four semifinalists for Class 4A, buckle up. It's a really good group of semifinalists. It's going to be a fun game, especially DCG and Xavier. Well, this will be the, unless something really big happens, the lowest scoring one here, but all the other three winners hit 60 points. That'll happen. You're always going to have that one team that likes to slow stuff down. Last year in 4 8 was Ballard. Ballard won a state title without even cracking 50. Yeah. That one knocked out of bounds. And let's see, that'll be uh, Heelan. Meese will trigger it in, get it out to Newberg. 
then over to Schirmerhorn, and they foul. Schirmerhorn, that was, let's see, Thompson. Double bonus here for Heelan. And Schirmerhorn is... Hit a two, two, hit a two, two threes, and now a free throw to, for nine points. Seems like a really solid glue player. One that keeps, keeps the team together, gets you a solid performance every single night. She's done pretty well tonight. And pops both the free throws for 10 points. She averages 3.6, so above her average. Smith just drives right in, bounce passes back to Egana, and she gets double teamed and can't get it out of there. Egana's been quite impressive just for a sophomore. I think her and the Gohawks will definitely be back here at the state tournament. Three is short, right to Egan, <laughs> who had to defend herself as it came right down at her. Now two minutes to play here. She knew that thing was going to miss right when she let go of it. She even started running forward. Three is good by Moore. Been impressed with Trinity Moore. Really solid play at the point guard position. Nice job commanding over the offense. Yeah, they're going to lose a few seniors here, but they got some younger players too, like you said, starting with the anchor in the middle, Agata. Couple and, more fouls. Yeah. Macy Smith picks up foul number four. And that'll send Stanley to the line. So winning this game, Healan will play Glenwood, like we said, 645 on Thursday night. Get a nice day of rest. Emma Thompson in for an IMT insurance substitution. The sophomore. It'll be interesting with Emma Thompson and Caitlin Egana. Eventually, you got to think they're both going to be on the floor at the same time as they get older. That's a tough one-two punch down in the post. Put Stanley up to 23 points. One away from our one away from single game high. Tying the scoring derby here. Down the lane, Macy Smith up, no good. Rebound pulled down. I'll get it to Stanley. Throws it up the floor to Meese. And spread it out a little bit. And they'll draw the foul from Morgan Ike. Keel will shoot two. Gets the rim bounce there. Thompson checks out. Morgan Shutt checks in. Addison Keel. Is that who you're looking for? Yeah, 54. Who's 54? Oh, 54. Uh, no. Morgan Shutt. Shutt, okay. I guess I didn't know you didn't have. Yeah, I don't have her on my either. Either my. Oh, there uh, we go. List here. Now we'll have wholesale IMT insurance substitutions here. Is uh, 106 to play. Wait, yeah, Michelle Rock is going to say, "Hey, we're we're not going to cut it down on that time. Let's get some people in." Neilan will do the same. Heck of an effort by Waverly Shell Rock today. Going against a really tough. Crusaders team. Lob it out deep to uh, Sophia Kuntz. There's Kiki Demke. Waverly Shellrock starting five. Enjoyed a nice moment there on the bench. Up and good by Abby Lee. Lee just a freshman. Welcome to the state tournament. First points. And I think it's safe to say now who our Casey's player of the game will be. Brooklyn Stanley. 
23 points, and I don't know what she had for uh, other stats there. Of course, Bishop Heelan stats aren't going up. <laughs> <laughs> 23 points, and I think there was seven rebounds. If seven I'm not rebounds for... Uh, let's check. Six rebounds. Six rebounds, okay. So she'll be our Casey's player of the game. We'll tell you about that here. When we wrap it all up. It's a good win for Heelan. Yep. Nothing to stress over. Unlike Glenwood, had to take it to the wire. Got a little bit of a break near the end. He gets a study film and get ready for Glenwood. Good effort by Waverly Shell Rock today, though. Well, any season you end at the state tournament is a good one. And Waverly Shell Rock will end up at 18-6. and six. Heelan will dance to play Glenwood. Fans, Casey's is proud to sponsor the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union today's player of the game. Casey's is at the heart of many Iowa communities, cheering on our local teams and fans and making sure there's fresh pizza ready to go, win or lose. Sign up for the new Casey's Rewards Program. It gives back by letting you redeem points for Casey's cash, fuel discounts, or donations for local schools. Brooklyn Stanley, 23 points today, six rebounds for the sophomore from Sioux City Hewitt. Really solid. She's going to be the key if they want to keep moving forward. Attention to the court for the awards presentation. In addition to receiving medallions, each participating player will receive a commemorative basketball provided by the Iowa Farm Bureau, a proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Presenting awards from the IGH SAU are Gene Berger and Gary Ross. Congratulations to head coach Greg Bodensteiner and the Hawks, Go Hawks from Waverly Shell Rock on an outstanding basketball season. And now, Jocelyn Verzal will advance her team to the next round on the official bracket at center court. Bishop Heelan fans, your team advances to the semifinals and will play Glenwood on Thursday at 6.45 p.m. Fans, on behalf of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, thank you for your support. Waverly getting the photo there with the trophy. Well, Heelan opened it up there to start the second half, that third quarter outscoring Waverly Shellrock 20 to 10, Blake. That was the big difference. That that was the difference maker in this one. Rebounds were also a big difference. Waverly Shellrock gets out rebounded by almost 20. Um, heck of an effort by the Go Hawks, but Bishop Heelan, state champions in 2020. Good chance they could get it here again in 2022. Got a tough battle against Glenwood on Thursday, but Class 4A going to be an absolute dogfight for the title. And the Go Hawks wrap it up at 18 and 6. Congratulations to them. And that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Girl State Basketball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau.